You're listening to The Dirt, a Mario Kart podcast. Welcome to the first episode of The Dirt. It's actually, I know it's not even really the first episode. We're going to call it the pilot. Okay, this is just the pilot episode to kind of introduce you guys to what this is going to be and how it's really going to involve you. Some of you guys might be asking, why is it taking me so long to do a show specifically around Mario Kart? And I, I think, honestly, when, when 8 Deluxe came out, I don't know that I was really thinking about how much they were going to like, we had no idea. We had no idea that DLC was going to be coming out. And you know, there was a, they did like the, the home circuit and tour and then DLC dropped. And and I probably should have started it back then, but, uh, but I didn't. And lo and behold, I'm, I'm just, I'm real. I'm still really, really into this series. It's my most played game on the switch. I love the competitive aspect of it. It's, it's something I've loved playing my, almost my whole life and tons of fond memories with it. That's really what I'm going to focus on for this episode is just, uh, just talking about talking about the first game, super Mario Kart, and some of my fond memories with it. But I need you guys. I need you guys. I need to hear from you. There's a spot in the discord and six, four, josh.com slash discord. Jump on in, leave your, your first Mario Kart and some of your fond memories. Okay. But you can take it a step further. If you don't want to just type it out, I want to encourage you guys to create some content. So what you can do, get on TikTok. You can upload longer than one minute videos and record a video of you talking about your first Mario Kart and your favorite memories with the game. And I'm going to put the audio into, into the episode here. So if, if you want to be a part of the episodes, you the, as the questions go out each week, you know, and stay tuned to the discord as well as, you know, follow me on different, like, like TikTok, YouTube and stuff. I'm going to be putting out the shorts as on there as well that have these same questions that you can, you can either just, just type something up if you want, or take some, take some Mario Kart footage. Even if it's like on my YouTube guys, I'm going to have, I, I, I have footage you guys can use. You can screen record with your phone go into something like CapCut or even just do it right on TikTok. There's an option for voiceover. You can just speak right into your right into your phone with the uh, with the gameplay going and and talk about your favorite memories that way. Maybe you're maybe you're not comfortable putting your face on camera or you don't have the means of of getting like uh footage of the game other than just the 30 second clips, then uh you know, there's a way that you can you can start getting your own content out there, but also be involved with the dirt. So we're going to be talking leaks, give you an idea of what this show is going to consist of. We're going to be like very community focused. I'm going to start. I'm going to, I want to understand the competitive scene better. I want to start doing some speed running and potentially going for world record. I'm going to see what I can do with my cart setup. I may switch to the meta if I have to, but I want to see how far I can push the pipe cart when it comes to doing the, the world records. It's, I know it's, it's close to being as fast. The mini turbo stats, not quite there. We're going to, we're going to break down all the different aspects of, of Mario Kart eight deluxe. There's, there's depth here. You may not understand how far the rabbit hole goes when it comes to uh, when it comes to Mario Kart, but it's it's deep. There's a there's a lot to this game, and so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna break it all down. We're gonna speculate about the next game. We're gonna look at leaks and anything we can find online where people are talking about it. There's been some recent leaks where they uh, the the game is possibly called Mario Kart Crossroads. And the, the, the rumor is it's Nintendo's uh, biggest, like the biggest budget game they've ever had. And that crossroads could represent multiple, uh, multiple franchises being introduced into the series. So it's more like a Nintendo cart than just a Mario cart. 
which I'm I'm here for it. We're just going to have fun chatting, chatting about this game. I'm going to bring in different members of the community, people that stream Mario Kart, people that maybe play it competitively. I'm going to be looking at like I have a I have a vast collection of of Mario Kart uh, from Hot Wheels to different versions of the game from Japan and Germany. I've got uh, I just put out a video on on TikTok on my first four first four figures Mario Kart statue and we're just going to be talking all things Mario Kart. If this show takes off, if it does well, it may end up on its own on its own feed, but I figure you know, Nintendo Powercast is all things Nintendo. We're going to break off to a few other niche shows. I might even get, uh, I've been playing a little bit more Smash, and uh, I kind of want to play some more Splatoon. There might be, th- there might be kind of a, like a, just an overall competitive, uh, so more, more competitive shows coming out, you know, talking more about Smash, looking at the tournaments, looking at Splatoon. I, I don't know. I got a lot. I got a lot going uh a lot going in my in my brain right now and i'm just i'm i'm loving doing these shows talking about nintendo talking about mario kart talking about some of these games that are just near and dear to my heart so let's take the next few minutes this is not going to be a long episode again it's just a pilot but i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the first game and just my my memories with it okay the first the first super mario kart game i remember i remember playing it for for the first time and it was it was an experience you know coming from uh, the nes where you had games like rad racer or rc pro-am and they were fun they were fantastic games uh you know rc pro-am kind of had a a, kind of a, a different camera angle but it still it still played relatively well right it was it was still fun to play rad racer was like your typical arcade racer you had uh you know moving into the super nintendo you had f-zero which was like okay this is cool but you know what are who are these characters who's captain falcon what you know what is this what what does this mean and then comes mario kart in 1992 and this game has had such a huge impact on my life. I've got it tattooed on my arm. I'm wearing a Mario Kart shirt right now. Like it it's one of my one of my favorite franchises. Like every time a new a new game came out, I loved playing all the way through the Grand Prix. You know, in in some cases you would unlock the three stars. I I miss how you could have the three stars next to your name if you had every track three star. They took that away in this one, which was kind of a bummer. Um cuz it was just something that kind of you know, it would set you apart a little bit when you're in the online lobbies, if you had the three stars next to your name or not. And just kind of, I, I, I enjoyed that. I think this game would have a lot more people with those three stars, honestly, based on, based on the fact that so many people play this and, and, and I feel like a lot of people play it, uh, they, they put a lot of time into it. And so, uh, the one thing I do want to mention when it comes to, to playing this game is in the discord. Now we're, we're working to get it set up to where, uh, you can do you can easily do LFG. So that's looking for game in case you're 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 not familiar with the term LFG. But basically, you're going to be able to assign different roles like Smash Bros, Mario Kart, Splatoon, Fortnite, Rocket League. We're going to look at the the handful of the competitive games. We're kind of doing a whole remodel. Shout out to Brooke for that. She's been um, she's been amazing. Just just cleaning up the Discord, making it look uh, making it look pro. But then I want to make it more useful for you guys to like, you know, chat about the particular games that we're going to be talking about the most with uh, when it comes to NPC. But then also make it easy for you guys to uh, find people to play with. Right. And I encourage you to like jump into voice chat and and get to know people in the community and and make some friends like uh, I don't know. I feel like I, I've somewhat gotten away from that. And that's kind of how this all started is we were all just getting together, playing games together and, in, and enjoying this hobby. And I want to get back to kind of those, those roots of what, of what the Nintendo Powercast was, was all about. And, you know, we're going to focus, we, we did the smash bros cast. We've done the animal crossing podcast. Like we've, I've done those, those other shows until, uh, until they kind of lost, um, kind of, kind of just lost the momentum. But, with with Mario Kart, I'm just I, I've got too many ideas. I have I have too many ideas, and I see that there's just there's still a lot of people playing this game. I feel like it's a game that like people pull out around the holidays. 
you know, I know a lot of couples play this game. And so I just want to chat about it as often as possible. Probably, probably once a week, do it, do a new episode and uh, again, hear from you guys. But getting back, getting back on topic though, talking, talking the, my first memories with, with Super Mario Kart, the thing that I remember the most that I remember the most is going over. I didn't, I didn't own the game. It wasn't until n- n- recently that, uh, I mean, you know, within the last couple of years that I bought the Super Nintendo version physically. Like I hadn't, uh, it wasn't a game that was in my, in my collection, but I borrowed it often and my aunt and uncle had it. And I used to, I remember being in the eighth grade and I would babysit for my uncle. I'd wash, watch my, uh, my cousin while he was, uh, while he was, while they were, they were both working and he was, he was self-employed a lot, a lot of times. So he would be, he would just work in his, uh, in his cabinet shop down, um, on his, on his property. But that meant we would have some late nights and the late nights would consist of, of watching Beavis and Butthead. And then it would also include a lot of Mario Kart. And we, I mean, we played, we played a lot of Grand Prix. We played, we played a lot of Versus. But if you guys if you guys played a lot of Mario Kart, you know that like just one v ones kind of aren't it. It's it's more of a party game, right? But back then it was just it was just just one v one. Well, we started having the most fun doing time trials. We would uh, we would go into the the ghost levels. I remember it was just the first ghost level, and we would both play as Koopa Troopa, like not even the the fastest character. We would just play as Koopa Troopa. And I can I can hear the sound of the tire squeaking on the wood on the wood track right now. We talked about it today when I was streaming that like I, I wish in Boo Lake you could hear the squeak of the tires on on the wood. I wish that little detail had been included just because it was it was something I, I adored about uh, about the first game. It was almost like basketball shoes on the court, right? You could just you could just hear the squeak, and I I loved it. And uh, we would just do time trials over and over and over again just you know drinking tons of cola and and passing the controller back and forth just seeing who could beat um each other's time and it I, it just made for a more fun experience because it seemed like more often than not somebody would end up just just dominating the other person and it wasn't it, it just it, it wasn't that fun whereas like really just competing against each other's times and just i mean we're talking shaving seconds right like and that's like that's where I kind of fell in love with the, uh, with time trials for Mario Kart. Like it wasn't hard for me to put hours and hours and hours into this game after beating the Grand Prix, even before there was online, because I love time trials so much. I love trying to get that, that tightest line possible, uh, with, with these characters and just, uh, and just see how well I could do. I, I always got, I mean, personally would get annoyed by things like snaking and some of the things that, that would end up being introduced, uh, like somewhat like exploits of the game, right? Because I wanted just that pure racing experience, but that's just, that's just not how that, that's just not how it goes with this, uh, with these games until eight. I feel like eight, there are, there are some advanced techniques out there. We're going to be talking about them on this show. We're going to be, um, you know, I, I, again, very community based, but we're not going to focus just strictly on Mario Kart eight deluxe either. I want to do time trials on super Mario Kart or Mario Kart 64 or, uh, super circuit even because most of us have access to those games through Nintendo switch online with the expansion pack that, that a good, a good portion of the community will be able to participate in these, these different like weekly events. And so I think for, for the pilot episode, you guys in the discord post screenshots, we've done this before of the very first track in the very first cup in super Mario Kart. It's a, I believe it's a Mario circuit. It's a, it's a very simple track. I'll give you the pro tip right now. If you want the high score, use Bowser or Donkey Kong Jr. They're the, they have the fastest speed, but the hardest to handle. I'm still going to race as Mario. I used to race as Koopa Troopa in this game because he was just easier to handle and had real high acceleration. Um, but uh, I, I've since started using, using Mario a little bit more. And I would say just, uh, just have fun with it. Like let's spend the rest of this week in the discord, uh, just, just posting our, our high, our high scores. Um, you can do it in the dirt, uh, 
in the dirt section of it says podcast the dirt mario kart podcast mk podcast you can post your high scores in there and or your your track times in there and let's see let's see how people do i'm i'm excited to uh to compete with against you guys and uh and we're just gonna we'll do you know different just community things like this i want to get to the point to where we get together maybe once a month in discord and utilize the stage where i can bring you guys up on stage and we can talk about you know whatever our whatever our our topic is for that uh for that month and you guys will help me dictate that as well so so much fun stuff happening excited to jump in and get to know you guys better and uh, get more races with you. I'm streaming. I'm trying to stream every Monday around 3 p.m. Pacific, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Mario Kart Mondays. Um, I'm I'm out of town next week, but then anytime I'm around on Mondays, I want to be streaming. So appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now. <laughs>